friends, new year, new habits, 75 soft challenge, let's get into it. If you're new here, I'm Sid and I make videos about creating a life I love to live. And at the start of this year, the start of 2024, I'm really looking for a boost in habit building and motivation. So I am taking on the 75 soft challenge and I'm bringing you along with me. Here are the rules of the challenge. Drink three liters of water every day. Eat well and only drink on social occasions. Train for 45 minutes every day with one day a week for active recovery and read 10 pages of any book. So once I heard all of those rules, I was like, this sounds doable. Like I feel like I could make my way through this. So we'll see if I can. And here is my game plan for how I plan to meet all of those habits every day. So for the drinking three liters of water a day, I have a 40 ounce a Walla tumbler here that I use to drink water regularly anyway. So my plan is to drink three of these. I know if I drink three of these a day, I surpass that three liter goal because this is 40 ounces. It's a little afternoon right now. I've already had a whole one of these, so I'm trying to start off strong. Now, when it comes to eating well and only drinking on social occasions, the drinking part. I feel like I could easily cut that out entirely. I'm not like a big drinker anyway. I don't often feel compelled to drink. We do keep wine at home. We do have stuff for cocktails here, but I'm not like a big drinker to where I feel like I have to have, you know, my glass of wine with dinner or I have to I have to go out for drinks. Like it's not that it's not that deep for me. So it's easy for me to turn down a drink. I feel like I can make it through this challenge without drinking. But you know, the rules are you can do it on social occasions and still meet, you know, what the challenge has set up for you. So if we're having a date night, if I'm out with friends, like it's not a big deal if I do have a drink. Now, when it comes to the eating well part, my goal is to eat a lot more fruits and veggies. And how I plan to do that is to get back into juicing. We love juicing. We usually do it in the summer because it's just, I feel like that season just makes sense for that kind of thing, but I'm gonna try to get back into it for the start of the year, for the winter time. So I've already went to the grocery store yesterday, got all these fruits and veggies um, for juicing, cooking, and for just eating and snacking. So they're already washed, they're already ready to go. Like. I prepared myself to get started with this challenge. So for the training for 45 minutes a day, I've already thought about some activities that I know I can pick from throughout this challenge to keep me you know, on track. So if you follow my channel, you probably know that I relearned how to ride a bike in 2023. So you know now I identify as a cyclist. So that is one activity I could choose from is cycling. I could also do yoga, um, go on a walk, um, do any kind of like workout videos at home, any kind of strength training or dance videos. When it comes to being active with this challenge, it really is whatever it is you want to do as long as it keeps you moving and keeps you active. And then read 10 pages of any book a day. I'm already reading a book. I'm still reading The Last Days of Jack Sparks. I think that's what it's called. So I'll make my way through that book. And when I'm done with that, I'll move on to my next book on my list. So I feel like these rules for this challenge sound really reasonable. I think it just comes down to like sticking with it every single day. That's why I am recording this journey, taking you along with me to hold myself accountable. So feel free to join me if you want to. I'm starting today on the 1st, so I'll go through March 15th, but you know, you can join me or you can just watch along and you know, see how I stick to this. So today is Monday, January 1st. It's a holiday. I'm off work, so I have like the most freedom to hit all of these habits for today. I feel like the real test is when you know, I'm, I'm back in the routine of the work week and I have like obligations and social things to do. And I feel like the real test is like when life starts back up again, like the holidays are over, how well am I going to do with this challenge? But that's a problem for a future Sid. For right now, I want to get ready for a bike ride. I wanna ride my bike for at least 45 minutes. I wanna come back, do some juicing. I have not read 10 pages of a book today. Really the only thing I have done is I have had one of these. So I need two more and to hit everything else for the day. So I'll bring you along with me as I do that. So real quick, I wanna show you guys what I'm eating for lunch before my bike ride. It is this um, turkey apple cheddar sandwich from Trader Joe's. I'm not big on like cheese on my sandwiches, so I'm just gonna peel the cheese off. But I don't like making lunch, okay? So I will make breakfast, I will make a dinner, but like having to get in the kitchen and make something for lunch is a huge annoyance to me. So anytime I can pick up something like 
ready to go or just like cook it on the skillet from the freezer like that is what i opt for so i'm gonna eat this real quick you saw earlier i had oatmeal and fruit for breakfast so that was you know how i did eating well this morning this is what i'm eating right now also back here i told you guys i got prepped for juicing this week like i have already washed and prepped like apples pears lemons um juicing oranges and then like snacking oranges um what's the difference don't know these were just labeled as juicing oranges <laughs> so i got some for the purpose of juicing which i mean i can also like um i can also juice the regular oranges it's just i don't know we got two different batches we also prepped so much other stuff so like grapes uh carrots celery kale spinach like there's so much other stuff in here like already set up and ready to go for the juicer and i can show you that process um when I get back. Bad little flex, she wanna know me. I stay low key, y'all gas, no breaks, baby. Let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Are you smart? No, I'm a certified dumbass because I'm not layered enough <laughs> to be out here in the cold, but I'm committed to getting through this ride anyway. So, and obviously yes, yeah, January is cold, but like just the other day, it felt so nice outside, but I'm determined to make it through 45 minutes on this bike today. <sighs> I was gonna say if it's the last thing I do, but I'm not putting that out there. Get to the bag on the low. I be kind of sex while they grow. Yeah, you know me, baby. Won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. I got something for you when we get home. If you let me put it down, when I come in town, you should lie on me. Keep your minds on me. On try, baby. I think you should. So it's like going on five o'clock right now. I had my two meals, you know, today. I was active for 45 minutes. I read my book. I had one liter of water a little over one liter of water and yeah i think i should be reaching like all the habits for today i mean we'll see about this three liters of water i'm not hopeful about it now that it's like five o'clock but we'll see what i can do Bad little flex she wanna know me i stay low key all gas no breaks baby let them hold sleep body on to make your girl od i get in my way never out of my lane so here's my juice. I'm not using a recipe to make this. I'm just grabbing what I have ready and figuring out um, what can fill up the glass. So I started off with an apple. I did some grapes. So I started off with like fruit and then I moved in, moved on to um, some veggies just so I can make sure this is green. So I use spinach, I use half a cucumber, some kale, um, and that was pretty much it. Oh, and celery. I can't forget the celery. I used quite a bit of that. Seth made dinner tonight and it looks really good. It's balsamic roasted mushrooms with kale mashed potatoes. We got the recipe from Budget Bites, but we hadn't tried this one yet. So I'm excited. So it's Tuesday and the first day of the challenge I feel went pretty okay, but I didn't reach every habit. So I started to think that maybe the three liters of water needs some adjusting because that's the thing that I didn't do yesterday. And yes, yesterday was a holiday. Um, I went on that bike ride and I was very tired. So I just like laid down a lot yesterday. I feel like that's what a holiday is all about anyway, is like relaxing and not pushing yourself too far. But still, I don't, think that three liters of water is going to be an attainable habit for me every day. So I went on the internet and I started looking at like calculators for like how much water should you drink based on, you know, your weight and everything. And what I think I'm gonna do for maybe not the remainder of the challenge, but 
Maybe I can work myself up to three liters, we'll see. But what I'm going to do for the foreseeable future is drink one and a half of these. Obviously I can drink more, but I think I wanna start off focusing on that. I think that will be a lot more <laughs> uh, realistic for me. At the end of the day, this challenge is for my benefit and I need to enjoy this. So I think if I need to tweak some things to make sure that I'm like building these habits every day, that's okay. You know, I'm still, the, the goal is still to drink, you know, plenty of water every day. But for right now, I'm going to update my habit tracker to reflect this new amount of water that I wanna drink every day. Um, and I can show you guys how I do that. And let me show you a bit about the app that I'm using anyway to track these habits. Future me coming in with a quick tutorial because the original one I did was way too long. The app I use is called Habit. Let's walk through how to set up a new habit on this app. I'm going to go to a day where I know I have no habits set up so that it's a clean slate. To add a new one, press the plus sign at the bottom left. Choose from a preset habit or enter in a custom one. For this example, I'm going to create a reading habit, which is already programmed on this list. I'm going to retitle this to make it specific to what I'm focused on, which is reading 10 pages a day. I'll keep the books icon and blue color that comes with this habit, but you can definitely change that. Really, I'm looking to specify this goal more. Instead of reading minutes, I want to change the goal to number of pages. I'll have to create pages as a new unit in order to do this. Now, I've already added pages as a unit, but to add a new unit, press the plus sign at the end of the unit options and then type in your unit. Under reminders, you can choose what time of day you want the app to remind you of this and create a custom message to go with it. And since my focus is doing this across a certain number of days, I'll create a date range for this habit too. I'm starting this in the past because again, I wanted a blank day for this example. Then I just update my habits throughout the day. Like if I read a few pages, I can press the plus sign in the circle to update that. I can also press the plus sign below the circle to update this or to add on to the number that's already there. It'll show me a progress bar like this when it's complete. Even if I only made some progress, I still get progress bar updates. So let's say I only read seven pages, then it'll look like this. To edit a habit, click on it and then select from the three dots in the top right corner. quick I wanted to show you guys what I'm snacking on every New Year's we do like a cheese plate so these are leftover cheese plate snacks from New Year's so I've got some crackers I've got some um, cheese like some Spanish cheese some blueberry goat cheese and prosciutto overall this is still eating well I haven't done yoga in a while and I won't say it was hard because, you know, I always try to go at my own pace and do what I feel like my body is capable of doing. And even if I can't do every single thing as the instructor is doing it, I still get a good workout. Modifying it, doing things my way, I, <laughs> my heart rate was definitely rating, okay? It was doing its thing. But to decompress before dinner, I'm gonna go ahead and read 10 more pages, at least 10 pages minimum of my book. So yesterday for dinner, I was showing you guys how I had those balsamic roasted mushrooms and then like uh, kale mashed potatoes. We have leftover potatoes. We have more mushrooms that we haven't cooked. So I think we'll do the same thing again today. So I will roast these. I feel like mushrooms are quick to get a little gross in the fridge. So I'm trying to eat these up as quick as possible. Day is over so I'm going to check in now with how today has been going let me pull up my habit tracker um, I am tired I look tired I look rough but I have to just embrace that sometimes because either I'm like striving with perfection 
with like how I look on camera or the video is not getting done. And I'm like, no, I'm holding myself accountable to this challenge. Sometimes I'm gonna look rough with this challenge, okay? It is what it is. So, breakfast. I have been doing the oatmeal this week with the fruit in it, which I don't usually do. Like I don't usually put things in oatmeal. That's just like not who I am, but these past couple days I've been putting fruit in the oatmeal and I haven't minded it. So that's what I did again today. When it comes to lunch, I hate worrying about what to eat for lunch. So I looked in the freezer, I found like a frozen meal from Trader Joe's, like that uh, vegetable tofu pad thai. And I heated that up, but I felt weird about it because it has like 900 milligrams of sodium. And that's just a lot. So I did not feel good about like eating that whole thing. So I ate a little less than half and then ended up eating like a banana and some fruit. So I'm still going to say that I ate well <laughs> for my second meal of the day. Oh, and I also snacked on some cheese too. So that is what I had. And I'll probably eat the other half of the pad thai like tomorrow. I just didn't feel like that whole serving all of that sodium at one time, I just didn't feel like that was a good move for me. Now, in terms of reading 10 pages, I have not done that yet. I usually read in the bed anyway, so I know that I'll do that after I exercise, which I have not done today. I have not done my 45 minutes of activity today, but I am about to do that. I hit every goal that I set for yesterday. I think modifying the water intake really helped me modifying it to something that is a little more realistic for me and my body really helped a lot. So I was able to reach every habit yesterday. I plan to reach every habit today. Let's have a quick Thursday check-in. Yesterday, it sounded like I had a really small lunge because I mean, I really did, but I just wanna note that I also had some anxiety yesterday, so that's why I didn't eat much around midday. So please don't think I'm saying I try to eat super small portions throughout this challenge or any other time in life because I really don't. Anyway, breakfast was the same. I'm just eating the rest of that frozen meal for lunch today and trying to get more fruit in too, so I'm having a banana with it. Today's activity was more time spent on the treadmill. And because I had like a frozen TV dinner type food for lunch, I felt like I could mark off one of my eat well boxes for the day if I had more servings of fruits and veggies. So I decided to juice. I made this juice super veggie heavy today. I started off with grapes, but it ended up being orange because I added in so much carrot. It really wasn't that sweet at all, but I don't mind that. I thought that this was so good. It's Friday, here are highlights from today. We've been talking about being more mindful of sodium at my house. So for my lunch, I want some pasta, but I wanna make it more mindfully. I always salt my pasta water, of course. I add butter to the sauce, that kind of stuff. But for lunch today, I was like, let me not do all of that. I'm using jarred sauce already, and that will just have to do for the salty taste I'd be looking for. I love this Trader Joe's roasted garlic sauce. I didn't think I would because I've never tried Trader Joe's sauce before, but I ended up loving this. I'm also doing 45 minutes of deep stretch yoga thanks to YouTube. And for dinner, we're having stuffed sweet potatoes. This is black beans and melted cheese on there, a go-to recipe for us. And we add a spicy green sauce on top. It's so good. My habits have been going well. They're pretty much the same as they have been all week, so I don't wanna show anything repetitive. What I do wanna highlight for today was this delicious dinner I made that I have got to talk to you guys about. So I'm making this creamy salmon and green beans, and I just wanna quickly talk through how I did this. And yes, I'm ashy. I wash my hands a lot when I cook. Don't, don't come for me. So for my prep work, I'm chopping up some shallot and garlic and I'm separating the shallot into two piles because I want some for my creamy sauce and then some to flavor the green beans. I'm also shredding some Parmesan cheese because that'll go in my creamy sauce. And something I didn't show, but is also helpful at this stage is washing and cutting some cherry tomatoes for the sauce. So I'm cooking both of these dishes at the same time, but let me first quickly talk through how to do the green beans. All I do is heat up a little bit of oil and butter and then saute shallot, garlic, red pepper flakes until all of that is tender and fragrant. And then I add my green beans and I season them with pepper. This is one of those dishes where I can't eliminate salt completely and still get the flavors I want to come forward. So I also added kosher salt. 
Then I just cook the green beans to my liking. Most times I really like them blistered and soft, but tonight they have a bit of bite and crunch to them. Now for the fish, I cook my seasoned fish skin side down first, definitely long enough for the skin to not stick to the pan. And then, you know, just cook it fully, flip it over, cook the sides. I do use a meat thermometer to make sure it's fully done. When it's cooked, I set it to the side to start the sauce. I wiped down the pan a little bit beforehand, then I added some butter and sauteed my garlic and shallot until that was soft and fragrant, and then I added in the cherry tomatoes. Now for these, I just have to give these a little while to cook. It's gonna take a few minutes for these to really soften, and that's what I want them to do. Also, there are no real measurements here, just, you know, doing what I feel is right. Then I added heavy cream, Parmesan, garlic powder, onion powder, dried basil, dried thyme, and a little bit of cayenne. Again, I had to add a small amount of salt in here to really bring out the flavors because as I was tasting it, the Parmesan just wasn't salting this up enough. Then I stirred in some spinach. You can do fresh basil here instead. I just used what I had and I just let this simmer. Let this thicken up, check on it every now and then, stir it, let it get creamy. I placed the fish back in the pan so it can warm through with that sauce. And that's pretty much it. This was so good. I love this so much. And I'm wanting to get more fish from the store so I can make this again next week. Hi guys, it's Sunday. We are headed to the grocery store to pick up a few new items for the week, like fresh produce and you know already made things that for lunch I'm trying to make this stop pretty quick because I am kind of hungry and I don't like going to the grocery store hungry uh, but I can show you some of the things that we get I've been doing really well this week reaching all of these habits yesterday I ate well but I couldn't mark off that I ate well three times a day because I slept in and I only really had two meals so breakfast and then that salmon dinner that I showed you but I still you know overall ate well yesterday let me know what you're most interested in when it comes to these weekly update videos. Are you interested in seeing how I choose to work out every day? Are you interested in meal plans or watching the meals being made or just hearing reflections? Let me know what's most interesting. All right, so here are a few items that we just picked up from the grocery store. This is a mixture of Kroger, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's. Um, I mentioned that I wanted to make that creamy salmon again sometime soon, so we've got more fish. We have shrimp, and I was thinking just some kind of veggie to eat with that. So Brussels sprouts, some things here for juicing and just snacking, so cucumber for juicing. You could always, you know, snack on cucumber. More strawberries, more blueberries. Also some quick things I can have for lunch, like a salad, a wrap, and a just snack on cheese and prosciutto. One thing I found that really caught my interest was this ravioli from Kite Hill. I've eaten Kite Hill yogurt before, so I know it to be like a dairy-free yogurt brand. I guess I didn't realize they make other foods. So I'm gonna try this one day this week for lunch, and I'm interested to see how this taste. That's it you guys. It's been a successful first week of the 75 soft challenge. I feel like I did pretty well and we'll continue to see how I do as time goes on. I feel like it's pretty easy to do well when it's cold and you're kind of in hibernation, but we'll see. One thing I wanted to note is that my habit tracker was thinking about my amount of water in terms of how much fits in my tumbler that I use every day. So one and a half of these is 60 ounces and that's what I've been tracking this week or that's what I've had you know programmed to my tracker for this week but I was like that number seems like off it doesn't even hit the 64 ounces that we're required to drink not required <laughs> what recommended to drink in a day so I'm gonna update that to 64 ounces instead of 60 because 60 just seems like low like it's not even hitting you know that minimum amount that we hear about all the time and also I know I've been drinking 64 ounces like i know i've been drinking eight glasses of water every day i'm not exactly measuring this um like when i fill it up every day like i'm just feeling it. i know <laughs> that i've been drinking eight ounces or eight glasses excuse me of water a day so i'll update that 
um, for this next week. Anyway, if you stuck around this long in the vlog, thank you. This is a new kind of structure for me. I've never done a challenge like this before, so we will see how this goes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.